Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that a little bit of laughter can take you a long way. And this uh, reality that we find ourselves consumed in, we can get lost along our way. I won't even say lost. We can get distracted by many things that are not of our own doing or outside of our control. At one point in my life, I would be angry. I would be uh, upset. I would be bothered, frustrated by the things that appear to be the wrongdoings of the world. I thought I was more virtuous because I overcared. <laughs> then somewhere along that journey, I realized that it was a fool's errand. I was worried about things that just didn't serve me. Now, it's not to say that I still don't see certain, uh, hmm, certain ideas or beliefs put out into the world and it doesn't catch my awareness. No, some things I see and I observe from a bird's eye view and I understand the messages that are being sent. Okay. That doesn't mean I have to comply. It doesn't mean you have to comply either. But instead of getting mad and frustrated, I learned along the way to laugh. Just laugh. <laughs> because it can, it can consume you when you allow yourself to be frustrated by the actions of others. It's not to say it won't happen. No, I still have some things that rub me the wrong way and I uh, find it difficult to laugh off in the moment. But over time, you realize how futile certain frustrations are. The frustrations that we choose to entertain. At some point, and I believe this for everybody, it might not be true, but I, I genuinely believe it, that at some point, acceptance kicks in whether we like it or not. But it's only by the quality of our choices that that acceptance uh, shows up in a way that's helpful and beneficial. Now, I could run down many examples, but it doesn't matter. I want to remind you to sit back, observe the things that may get a rise out of you, the things that may for lack of better terms, trigger you. And find the comedy in it. <laughs> because when you can do it for yourself, you can genuinely see it in the things outside of you. And in doing so, you gain the element of power. Because if you do feel so inclined to... Uh, attempt to right the wrongs that are outside of you. Then you can approach certain ideas, environments, people, relationships. You could approach those things with a newer perspective, with a lighter perspective, a certain light, a lightheartedness that offers grace and allows you to be aware of certain judgments that are outside of you, that are impacting others. But by knowing your position, it allows you to not fall victim to those judgments by your own choices. See, others are going to have their beliefs. They're going to have their perspectives. It's fine. To them, it's right. To them, it's true. And the same is for us. 
our beliefs and ideas are true to us. But we always know somewhere within us that we have a choice to change what is true for ourselves. Right. And in doing so, we can even find a comedy within ourselves. <laughs> we can observe ideas of the past. And instead of judging ourselves, we can have that element of grace that says, Oh man, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing then. I had no idea what I was thinking then. Because we can be so entrenched in certain ideas or uh, beliefs about ourselves that we can't see the forest for the trees. That's okay. But if you're not able to laugh, within, if you're not able to laugh with yourself, if you're not able to enjoy your own company and really grasp the way that you see the world in a lighthearted manner, then life will forever be frustrating. Life will forever be a daunting task in and of itself. Choose differently. I want to remind you, if anything, to not do that to yourself. <laughs> Relax. There's reasons and seasons for any and all things. It's not about being uh, perfect, because I like to calmly remind myself and you all, but sometimes just relax. And at those moments where you can consciously relax, be lighthearted, even if it's for a moment, things will be revealed to you in that same manner, in the lightheartedness, in simple revelations and uncommon hours. So it's okay. As the Joker told us, why so serious? Now we do have things that we're serious about, and that's fine. I just want to remind you to be easy along your journey because obstacles will come. And those are the times where we must choose to have a certain steadfastness steadfastness about ourselves <laughs> with all this will trusting yourself allow God to guide you and order your steps but remember to laugh yo until next time be blessed most importantly don't forget to smile.